All right, so I wanted to go over how to make this um, room finish schedule for you guys real quick. Um, so basically, what we have is a in your textbook, you have a area that's sort of grouped together for ceilings and an area that's grouped together for walls with north, south, east, and west, and a few other things I think that are pretty much like this. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to make this real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup these guys and if we look at the fields we've got number name floor finish base finish ceiling finish limit offset north south east and west and comments north south east and west are actually project parameters that i added so i'm going to delete them and re-add them So basically this is kind of what you should start off with. It would look like this, pretty straightforward. Um, it's pretty close to what you have already, I think. Um, but if not, you can make a new room finish schedule and start from here. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make those project parameters. So to make the project parameters, you can just go into the fields and there's a new parameter. And <clears throat> I'm just going to give this one um, west or actually let's just start with north, see if it goes to the top. And we want that to be a text parameter because we won't be able to type in what the finish is for that. And then you can decide what to group it under, you know, materials and finishes, you know, would probably be a good one. Um, and you just click OK. And then you just add the next one. So south and just update this to text and materials and finishes and click OK and then east and and last one west there it is OK um, and so once I get all of those in, maybe move the comments right down to the end in case you want to put some of those in. And what we have is that. So the last thing we need to do is sort of group these headers. So what you can do is you just want to get the two cells that you want to group. And if you highlight them, you see I just came in and, and drug across here, it'll allow you to group them. And then I can come up here and type in ceilings. Right, and then I can do the same thing for these. So, whoops, I come across here, grab all those, group those, it'll let me put walls in. So that's pretty straightforward, right? So now you have a similar setup to the, um, to the one in your book, and you can come in here and you can start to type things in. So like PT-01, right? PT-02, whoops make that a capital right and then you know maybe WD show one you know, WD show two and then you just kind of go through and fill it out um, there are keys that can be made for larger projects uh, but we're not going to talk about that so you just go through and, and fill out what your walls are um, you can do it in the project as well so if we go take a look let's go to maybe our top of slab dimension plan if I come in here and pick the living room you're gonna see north south east and west are filled out here right they're available to you under materials and finishes right and you can fill those out also here while looking at the room so it's kind of up to you whether you want to fill it out in the schedule or in the room it'll fill out you know so if I went to the entry right it will have filled out these in the north south east and west so if i go to the entry down here pick that room you'll see it's filled those out okay all right so um that's it for this particular part when i come back we'll talk about how um, you can set these heights so the heights you can set them you know just by typing them in so this was nine feet you could type them in right and that's pretty simple so you can just set the heights here and it actually sets the height of the of the room itself 
right the upper limit of the room so if I pick that you see the limit offset right here is set to 9 right and so <clears throat> that gives you the ability to go in and, and sort of adjust these rooms, right? Um, I think I think that's about it. Um, so anyway, that gives you uh, the ability to do this room schedule. Um, we'll talk about finishes, maybe floor finishes uh, next.